second grade friends. Let's review some of the vowel sounds that we have been working on recently. Remember that moose has the vowel sound oo, spelled O-O. Now, you know that oo can be spelled many different ways. Let's take a look at the list of words and the sound spellings on the card. The first word, room, has oo spelled O-O. Group has oo spelled O-U. Do has oo spelled with just an O. Chew has oo spelled E-W. And glue has oo spelled U-E. We have also learned that saw has the vowel sound aw. Say it with me, aw. You already know that the sound can be spelled many different ways. Let's look at the list of words and the sound spellings on the card. The first word, dawn, has aw spelled A-W. Fault has aw spelled A-U. Walk has aw spelled A-L, but our L is silent. Hall has aw spelled A-W, but this time we hear the L sound. Caught has aw spelled A-U-G-H, and bought has aw spelled O-U-G-H. We have also been learning about prefixes. Remember that a prefix is a syllable or a word part added to the beginning of a base word to change its meaning. Look at the prefixes and the base words on the screen. Let's read each word part and then blend them together. Ready? Let's do the first one. Redo. Redo. How does the prefix re change the meaning of the word? That's right. It means to do again. All right, boys and girls, the next word right here. Pre-dawn. Pre-dawn. How does the prefix pre change the meaning of the word? That's right. Before dawn. Awesome job. Next, ungroup. Ungroup. How does the prefix un change the meaning of the word? That's right. It means not grouped or not in a group. Great job. Last one, dislike. Dislike. How does the prefix dis change the meaning of the word? That's right, if you dislike something, you don't like it. Very good. Um, let's practice some more with base words and the sound spellings we reviewed. These words all have suffixes. Remember that a suffix is a syllable or a word part that comes at the end of a base word to change its meaning. Look at the words on the screen. Let's blend each word together and then you will tell me the suffix and the base word. Ready? Not e, naughty. What is my suffix, friends? That's right. Y or e is the sound that it makes. That means that my base word is not. Awesome job. Next word is flawless, flawless. What is my suffix? Less is my suffix. Great job, friends. That means that my base word is the word flaw. Great job. Next word, thoughtful. Thoughtful. What is my suffix? That's right. Full is my suffix, which means my base word is thought. Awesome job. 
Last one, friends. Soupy. What is my suffix? That's right. E is the sound it makes. Y is the letter. Great job. That means that my base word is soup. Awesome job. All right, let's try that again with base words and word endings. These words all have endings. Remember a word ending is a syllable or word part that is added to the end of an action word to change its meaning. Look at the words on the screen. We're going to blend each word together. You will tell me the ending and the base word. Ready? All right, wash is, washes. What is my word ending? That's right, boys and girls, is, which means my base word is wash. Great job. Next one, chewing, chewing. What is my word ending? Ing. Awesome work, second grade superstars. That means my base word is chew. Awesome. Last one, faulted. Faulted. What is my word ending? That's right, id, the ed. So that means that my base word is fault. Awesome work, my second grade friends. Now let's review sound spellings in compound words. Remember, a compound word has two base words that connect together to make a new word. Look at the words on the screen. Let's blend the words together, and then you are going to tell me the two base words that make up each compound word. Ready? Here we go. Bathroom. Bathroom. What are my two words that make up my compound word? That's right, bath and room. So I am going to take my line right here and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle to show our two separate words. All right, next one. Hallway, hallway. What are my two words that I put together to make a compound word? Hall and way, awesome job. So I'm gonna take my line and put it right here in between. Last one, friends, ready? Blueprint, blueprint. What are my two words that I put together to make my compound word? Blue and print, awesome. Now I'm going to just show where I split the two words. Great job. All right, so now we are going to blend and read some words together. We're gonna start with line one and go all the way down to line five. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? Preheat, preheat. Disused, disused. Repeat, repeat. Pre-cut, pre-cut. And remix, remix. Awesome, let's move to line two. Repair, repair. Pre-wash, pre-wash. Unfair, unfair. Pre-test, pre-test. Remind, remind. Great job, let's keep going, friends. Line three. <sighs> Aw. Ooh, hall, b, ow, and bound, f, ow, and found, t, ow, town, t, ock, talk. Great job. Line four. D, er, aw, ul, drawl, y, aw, N ing yawning d ear dear ch aw chalk ch 
ear cheer. Great job, friends. We're almost done. Line five. Pre-paid, prepaid. Pre-season, pre-season. Prehistoric, prehistoric. Great job, my second grade friends. I want you to give yourselves a pat on the back for your phonics work today. I will see you next time. Bye.